hi there linda here welcome back to my channel if you're new here thank you for clicking on this video my name is linda is a middle in case you're just seeing me for the first time so in today's video we're going to be talking about where to source the best coily hair extensions from so most time people are usually conf confused about should i get coily hair extensions from china or do i get coily hair extensions from my vietnamese supplier so in this video i'm going to be telling you what coily hair type is actually the best from my experience so far and take note that i've been into selling human hair extensions for over five years so i think with that <laughs> number of years in which i've invested into like the hair industry i should be able to give an advice on which hair which coily hair type is the best and in my opinion let me describe the Vietnamese coily hair. The Vietnamese coily hair is slightly... It's... I think I should just get Vietnamese coily hair and show you guys what. So guys, this wig right here is made with Vietnamese coily hair. And one thing you would notice about the hair is of course the curls are beautiful. It looks really nice. And the hair is very full because it was made with three bundles of Vietnamese hair. So the thing with Vietnamese coily hair is, in most cases, the Vietnamese coily hair is going to look fuller than the Chinese coily hair. The reason why it tends to look fuller is because of the texture of the Vietnamese hair, which is sort of thicker, it's more coarse. That's the reason why it tends to look fuller than the Chinese coily hair. But take note, one thing I found out is that the same reason why the Vietnamese coily hair looks fuller than the Chinese coily hair is the same thing that makes people not really vibe with the Vietnamese coily hair because the texture is a bit more coarse when you compare it to hairs that are just sourced from China which is softer people prefer most of, most of my customers that have bought coily hairs from me from China and Vietnam whenever they get the Chinese Vietnamese coily hair they will only say they don't like the Vietnamese coily hair they might even think that the Vietnamese coily hair might not be is not good quality hair just because of the texture of the hair forgetting that depending on where the hair is sourced from the texture of the hair would differ so if you're someone who's just getting into the hair business or let's say you've been in the hair industry but you never really put your hands into selling coily hair what i'm going to advise is that if you want to buy coily hair extension it will either it be pixie coily if, it, if it's deep wave any coily hair extension that you actually want to sell i would advise you choose coily hair extensions that are sourced from chinese hair manufacturers or rather chinese factories because hair sourced from chinese factories have a softer texture and when people prefer that softer texture for coily hair extensions if you give somebody a vietnamese coily hair which is more coarse they will not really appreciate it we started wearing chinese hair sauce from chinese factory before we got into wearing hair sauce from vietnamese factory for that reason when they see that ah, i've been so used to soft hair type then why are you giving me this hair that is so coarse they might not really understand it and another thing is of course, with Vietnamese coily hair, because of the Viet and the coarse texture, it, it would definitely need more conditioning to get it to be soft. It would definitely need more conditioning to make sure that it always looks pretty. You always detangle it with water and conditioner so it looks its best. But with the Vietnam, with the Chinese hair, because of its soft, you can actually get away with wearing it for a whole week before you need to work on it. But with the Vietnamese hair, it needs more maintenance. The Vietnamese coily hair needs more maintenance. So when you look at these reasons which I've just me mentioned right here, you just notice that honestly, it's better you get your coily hairs from China too. Because when a customer doesn't understand how the Vietnamese coily hair works, they will just feel like you sold bad hair to them and for that reason, they might just not want to purchase hair from you anymore. So they want to be very, very careful about that. So another thing I want to even mention is the Burmese coily hair. Yes, the Burmese coily hair might look really, really nice, but it's also in the same category as the Vietnamese coily hair because it's also not as soft as the Chinese hair because the Chinese hair actually is softer in texture than the Burmese coily hair. So you want to be also you want to also be very, very careful with the Burmese coily hair because the cause for the Burmese coily hair can look very, very beautiful, very, very beautiful, and it looks. It looks very beautiful so you want but you still want to be careful because of the texture somebody that doesn't understand that this is a hair source from a different place will still not really appreciate it so i would advise if you are getting hair from a customer that doesn't really know about hair 
just stick to buying curly hair from China because the customer will not really understand hair textures and all of that. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. If you got value out of this video, do not forget to smash the like button. Please give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends who are also going to get value out of it. Share this video with a customer that is you're having issues with that probably doesn't want the fact that doesn't understand the fact of it. That means coily hairs are a bit more tricky than Chinese coily hair or Burmese coily hair is a bit more tricky than Chinese coily hair. Share this video with your customers. Also, remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not yet subscribed. I would really appreciate your following or your <laughs> subscription. Thank you so much to each and every one of you who have been subscribed to my channel over, over the years. I really appreciate your support and your love. I do not take it for granted. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Remember, be bold, have courage, live a positive life and I'll see you in my next one. Please follow me on social media at Linda is in Middle and my business pages at ENL Beauty for makeup and ENL Beauty hair for hair extensions and wigs. Yes, my account was recently hacked by an employee so I invariably lost all of my followers. So I'm starting from scratch again. So if you can follow me on Instagram, I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much and...